my name is Simone Eisler and I'm a visual artist from Sunshine Coast. Um, I am primarily a sculptor, but I work across a lot of different mediums. I think my life is about making art um, because I'm trying to understand the world around me and I am a storyteller and um, I love putting those kind of things that people think and wonder or are inspired by into the visual realm. I'm inspired by nature prim primarily and nature's um, ability to kind of adapt and change and transform um, over time. And um, I'm very interested in the animal world because um, I've grown up with like a veterinary scientific background um, and I'm really interested in evolution and natural history and I'm really interested in materiality and how you can push and transform materials in different ways. So the AFID installation um, was an opportunity to create something that was really connected to a bigger philosophy um, to do with harmony and the, the community. See these beautiful big leaves. So I'm always identifying things around here because there's just so many trees. But when I was thinking about the concept, I was looking around at different kind of leaves to think about what could create this kind of form that was almost like an arbor to walk through, but almost like wings and almost like a heart as well in a way. And I found this beautiful um, tree here, which I think is a bohemia, but it has different shaped leaves veins and a structure that would, um, I was looking to nature to kind of give me the idea of how I might construct these forms, I guess, and these were kind of um, perfect in the way that they, um, the shapes. So it was a lot of kind of editing and going around and sketching and so many kind of ideas and you can see that in my final forms um, and the sculptures as they are, um, there's actually a bend within this kind of leaf face form and that's come from kind of playing with these leaves as well and where these veins kind of create those sections and segments. Um, so I actually kind of separated leaves and I started to play with them as arbors because I thought that creating an arbor in a sense would be something that already is um, something to walk through and be part of. And I started to think about where I could put this bend so that the work became balanced but could be seen from different angles but become a different kind of form as well. And it was almost like when you put the two forms together, they kind of become one. It depends where you're looking at them from, but they're like butterfly wings as well, but they're also like a heart. And I was starting to think about how this is sort of a heart of the Sunshine Coast as well. And also of really great importance was this indigenous reference to place and nearby Sippy Downs, meaning um, winged creature or place of birds. And that really resonated with me. Um, so I started to incorporate bird forms or flocks of birds into the work. So I started playing with um, birds kind of almost like um, flying within the imagination or, or beyond this kind of work. So it's almost like you've been inspired by that too and they're kind of free. And so what I've actually created with the final works are cutouts of birds at the top and then the positive birds have been kind of welded onto the works and painted gold so that everything catches the sun. It's amazing to see this work come to fruition and actually to now see it in reality in the park. Um, and it's everything I actually did 
planned for and had dreamed for with the patina, but the way that they sit within the park, the scale of them, everything's perfect. So from an initial concept on paper as a drawing, um, to standing up in real life, they do, they have, look absolutely fantastic. And um, yeah, no, I couldn't be happy with the way that they came out. It's been a fabulous process from my perspective. Um, and AVID uh, has gone out to the community looking for some public art that would really set Harmony apart. And we were thrilled to find Simone. I think it's well beyond my expectation of what was, what was going to be delivered here. So we really hope that this artwork will become a centerpiece of this park and a symbol of harmony for the community. Mm -hmm.